big things. You're a captain. Yep. That's exciting. Very exciting. Um, no, seriously, what does it actually mean to you and kind of the reaction you had and the response from the guys? Oh, it's an unbelievable honor, you know, to be recognized by your peers and have the respect of your peers like that. It's, you know, the team votes and it's an honor. I feel I feel honored and humbled to, to be selected. Also, at the same time, you're one of the guys with some of the most experience yeah. on your side of the football. Right. Uh, how much different is that in comparison to like that previous years and more responsibility comes in? I mean, we're we're very young. Um, last year, I, I don't know how many it was, it was like eight returning starters or something right. last year. And this year, you know, we have three. So, I mean, the linebacker room's deep with experience, yeah. but uh, D-line, we're, we're young, and Marcus and Brandon have had some experience playing uh, last year, so I think they have some they have some confidence. But uh, the inside guys, you know, our nose tackle has, you know, zero experience. So it's going to be a unique deal, you know, something I'm, I'm not used to. Um, but I, I think we've had a really good camp, and I think I think going forward, I think we're in a good spot right now uh, to come out and just cut it loose and have a good you know Saturday. I'm just curious for me now, like, do you go in the room and you look around like where did everybody go? Like, yeah. I, remember, I remember different guys. Yeah, I mean the guy who played across from you know uh, Ray uh, was my best friend. You know he's my roommate. And he's at he's de at Detroit now, and you know I miss him. You know if not you know from a performance and you know, playing a crossroom type deal than just as a friend, you know. But I got, you know, guys in the locker room that I, I like hanging around, you know, I got my guys, so. Um, but Zach too and Wyatt, uh, we were all tight. So, I mean, it's tough, but, you know, we've grown during the off season and, and during this camp, and I think it's, it's really good now. What I've heard uh, already, though, is that, from, this is from Cheetah. He mm -hmm. said, uh, when the first people reach out to him, you and y'all develop like a pretty, pretty close with mine. So in terms yeah. of like him, like just showing the ropes, yep. uh, that class has a lot of expectations. Uh, he's, yep. he's got some expectations on him too, but kind of what were you able to kind of share with him and how you were able to kind of help him along those Yeah, I mean, I, he's kind of playing the same position that I played two years ago for Coach Pascaloni gotcha. um, at the buck position. Um, so I've been able to try and help him share some, you know, pointers and stuff just from technique wise and you know it's tough coming as a freshman as a freshman you know you don't know what to expect so I try to help him along in that sense too and just guide him try and be a, a mentor to him as much as I can and you know he's a really good he's a good player he's a good guy so he takes that and runs with it. What's Rich Yergen uh, given for you guys on the edge right now that you've seen so far in camp? Uh, Richard, Richard's gonna be really good for us I think this year um, he, he's all he's about all the right stuff. He's got a workman attitude and uh, he's done some really good things this camp. Um, and I think he'll as the season builds, I think he'll just get stronger. Yeah, well, I mean, as an older guy, especially now as a captain too, uh, you have a group that's you young. Know, it's uh, like your side of the ball, but also like that freshman class that holds like the expectations and whatever. Um, you guys already had sort of a culture building, like mm -hmm. there were a couple classes that were pretty tight knit yeah. or whatever. But how do you make sure that carries down or carries on? And, and, and what's your role in that? Well, I mean, the guys you know ahead of me, I looked up to. They were great guys, and they were trying to set the culture with me. So, you know, I just try to take stuff from them and and try and you know push the younger guys and you know try not to drop the rope type deal mentality. Um, and I think the young guys are taking taking it and running with, running with it. Um, you know, we just it's just things like you hold them accountable when they do something you're not supposed to do, or things like that. Just don't allow, you know, it not hold them accountable. You know, don't allow them to slack off or stuff like that. Not that they do. I mean, it's like a it, it, they're really they're really good. So I mean, they they do an unbelievable job recruiting the right guys. So it's easy. Then talking to Daz about the second one, but is it, it's easy to say that there's a, a lot of unknowns in the defense because there's so many people leaving, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. people coming in. But what do you know for certain, like, after going through camp and getting through this practice? What are the things that you know for sure at this point that you that you're doing? Um, I know for sure that we have a great mentality on, on defense. Um, Coach Sheridan's done a really good job um, having us build the right identity and making sure we're on track. Um, in terms of our, our mantra, you know, swarming to the ball, getting the ball out, tackling, uh, all major keys for us in, in, in winning. Um, so in terms of that, you know, I haven't seen the guys play in a game yet, so I don't know what it's gonna, how it's gonna shake out, but I, I'm really confident that, that it's gonna be good, you know, just from what I've seen.
What's your graduate study? I'm an MBA student. Oh, oh, Part-time MBA. Thank hey. you. Tanner, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Take it.